Hey guys, happy Easter, man. I'll tell you, this winter's been crazy. It's freezing out here today, but we're going to go ahead and do a couple projects, I hope, today. I had a request to show how I make the horseshoe uh, heart, or did a video on the heart. The, the request was for the horseshoe heart that has the, hor the kissing horses, uh, horse heads on the end. So we're going to run one of those through quick. I hope everything works well. Stay tuned. You'll... I hope everything works well. If it don't, we'll do it again. All right, first thing I like to do is give myself a mark for center, just like the other video shows. Just so I know where I want to be. Right about there. That's my mark. We'll heat her back up and we'll stretch them out. With it nice and hot, we stick one in in a hardy hole. And we give her a pull out like that. Straighten her back up. I like to pull on both sides so I get a nice even start. Straighten it up. Just like you would for the normal horseshoe heart. Gives me a nice opening. Alright, what we're going to do next, we're going to go ahead and put the point of the heart in. Uh, once that's in, these, these um, the ends will, will, will uh, fold out a little more and give me more room to work. So we'll drop that in there right now. All right, you want to take a good heat on this, find a nice clean edge on your anvil, line up your center mark where you said that was going to be. Start off by putting your V in there. And then work that up. You're going to flatten it. I like to spin it around. And tongues are just a little small for this shoe. Get that same mark, work that end up. Work that end down. You're after a, a nice defined point there without distorting the shoe too much. By working both sides, you get what looks pretty good in your V. So I'm happy with that now. All right, I'll walk you through what I'm going to do with the nose first so that uh, you have an idea what to look for as I actually do it. So we got uh, already a good shape going on here. What we need to do first is on this side of the anvil, drop down the snout and half the cheek. Drop that down. Once that's done, you're going to come to this side of the anvil and you're going to just hit it once or twice to drop the, the nose down. Then you're going to come back to this side and finish up the back part of the cheek. So again, flat, drop the muzzle, bring the back side of the cheek. That's the plan. Alrighty, make sure you get yourself a good heat. See what I'm doing? So I'm going to guess what I want the muzzle in the front part of the cheek to be. I'm going to drop that down. As much as I feel I want to do it. Then I'm going to come up to the other side of the anvil and I'm going to drop that muzzle down. And there you have it. Alright. Come back to this side of the anvil and finish up the cheek. And then we want to flatten that off the best we can. But hopefully you can see what I did there. We now got a bit of a muzzle. I'm going to actually drop that down a little bit more. And we have a bit of a cheek. I'm going to cut that in a little more too. That yeah, looks better. Alright. Take that nose down. Oh, come on. My amble really sucks. Put that muzzle in. Back, finish up that cheek. And in this case, I'm kind of going for symmetrical to the first one, but not exactly. When you're doing this, if you end up with one that's bigger than the other, it kind of looks nice. It looks like a, you know, like a male and a female. So, right, so there's one my thing really trying to do is trying to get a bit of a neck on this horse. And it's awful hard to do when you have a small shoe. But you try to get that. There we go. That looks much better. See how I tapered that neck back a little bit as opposed to this one? So that's definitely a good a good thing to try to do. It gives, gives that horse's head a bit of, a, of its own that personality. A little bit. Distort that. We'll start working this shape back the way I want it to be. There we go. Again, keep her flat. You're trying not to distort the groove inside the horseshoe that much. 
and you also want to kind of soften that a little bit. So that's not a bad start on that one. We'll get the other side looking like that. I think we'll be in good shape. All right, let's get this last twist the bend in. We're going to look for uniformity from one side to the other. And that isn't too bad. Get her flattened back out. I'm not exactly happy with this this one over here. But you know, practice. You gotta do these over and over again. This I haven't forged in what three months? I think yesterday was the first time. So I think at this point, I'm happy with the way things are looking. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in the details for the head, um, eye, nose, ears, and mane. Depends on the mood I'm in, but basically I use two punches, uh, just a plain old uh, flat chisel with a, with a nice clean edge on it, and then a small punch. Uh, sometimes I use an eye punch if I'm uh, in the mood for that, but uh, today we'll just do two simple, two simple punches. So we'll get this baby out, and I'm going for the placement of the nose and eye first, just to tell me where the rest of the world should be. All right, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this ear, which I'm coming from the head out to the edge. Ouch, kinda of like that. That's not bad. And then I'm gonna do my mane. Now I can do my mane in a couple of different directions, but typically I like to go back like this, and you're just gonna go back down through the, stay there, I'm almost done back through the horse uh, I'm not see that's why you need your piece flat I'm not flat here. You put your mane in not the happiest horse in there, but it's a horse I'm out of practice you can kind of see what I got going on there and this is the one I don't like. See how that chin isn't defined? You definitely want a nice drop. Even this one on this side isn't dropped enough. So you want to make sure that it's narrower and drop down. But, you know, it's good enough for today. Let's get the other one done. Alrighty. This one done. Hopefully it will go just almost as well. Find your nose. Drop it in. Find your eye. Drop it in. From the head out to the outside, you're going to put your ear in, like that, and then put your mane in. A little bit more there, don't mind. Deeper on the ear. Alright, uh, I wouldn't call this the best looking one that I've done, but it ain't bad. It's pretty darn impressive, actually. All right, at this point, what I'm ready to do is start bringing these guys together. So I'm going to heat basically the whole piece and start bringing them in. I like to tip one down a little lower than the other. It looks like one horse is kissing the other. I'll make this the smaller one. I'll try to bring that in. But again, we're going for symmetry as well as just the overall aesthetics. Let me heat it up. We're just going to bring these guys together. I decided I wanted this one down a little bit. We'll bring that one down some. I'm going to come down a little too, bring that one in, I'm a little lopsided over here, so what I can do is I can give this one a bit more of a tip, I can give that one a bit more of a tip, and try to bring these guys in a little bit more, and flatten her back out, I don't think that looks too bad at all actually. What do you think? Again, it's your call. See how this one comes out a little bit more? It's because this one's curved in, this one's pushed out. If I didn't want that, I can go ahead and bring this nose down a little. I kind of like the kissing part of the heart. Um, I think it looks pretty that way. What do you want to do? I like it. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to heat it up one more time and give it a good wire brush to clean it up. Again, this is a used horseshoe, so I do have one nail left in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that or not. Um, I'll think about it and I'll come back. Alright, I changed my mind on this one. I'm going to roll this one back out because I like the idea 
of the symmetry a little more. So I'm going to put this one down as the one being kissed. And that'll allow me to bring this in a little bit. Uh -huh. That did it. That did it. And that gives me the symmetry I'm looking for. Much better than it was anyway. So you can see that now. It looks much cleaner. I'm glad I made that decision. Let's see if I can punch out that nail. I decided to remove the nail also. If there were a couple of them in here, I'd leave them. Just the one there, I don't like that. So I'm going to get a punch out. Probably should have made that decision earlier. Another thing I do, I like to lace leather up through here and make it into a hanger in case they want to use it as a, a wall hanger. So I need to make sure that these holes are open. I did pretty well here. I got plenty of room for leather. If not, I'll heat this up and run a square punch through each one of those just to open those holes up. But I think we're good to go. I'm going to wire brush it up. All right, guys. Can't believe it's snowing. It's just, this winter is just killing me this year. Anyway, we got her all finished up. All right, kissing horses, horseshoe heart. Uh, and again, don't give up until you're done because you know what? I wasn't extremely happy with the way that it looked when I was making it. It looks pretty good now. Um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, again, having the cheeks a little more defined. I think that's that's the only flaw that I have in this one, but it still looks really nice. And uh, and people love these things. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's a beautiful thing. Uh, used horseshoe, forged into a horseshoe heart. What I call the kissing horses, horseshoe heart. Till next time, take care.